All right, y'all, what's going on? It's your boy T. <laughs> I haven't done this in a minute. I haven't done this in a minute, so it's going to be a little, you know, probably going to be a little rusty. But you already know what it is. It's your boy T. O. Savage. And I just want to jump on here and, you know, give my thoughts in verbal form on the <laughs> on the recent reveal, official reveal of the Boom Mooja suits, at least the, uh, the main three anyway. So, so I'm going to get right into it. It's probably, hopefully this ain't gonna be long. I'm gonna get right into it. So, the suits, overall, I like, I like the suits overall, you know, as a thing. I like the gray, I like the white, I like the individual colors, I like the um, the speedometer going across the chest. And even the shoes, you know, the shoes, they're a bit bulky, I won't even lie to you. Like, definitely wouldn't, caught, you wouldn't catch me dead wearing them, but you know, it is what it is. But, but you know, everything's cool. But like I said on Twitter, or, or X or whatever, um, it's just the helmets. But like, I don't think they're ugly. Like honestly, when I heard the description of them, I thought they were gonna be way uglier than what we got. But but it's just like it's like the suit is good. It's like okay, cool, cool, cool. And then you get to the helmet, and it's like oh well, um, yeah, that's that's a thing. You know, that's a choice. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. You know. It has lips, which is a sin, but you know, it's not terrible. Um, the changer, I mean, I gotta get better looks at it, so I we'll have to address that in a future video, I guess. The car that I assume is red looks kind of cool, and at first I was like, "Yo, is that a a certain vehicle that we've heard about for this show?" But I'm like, "Nah, that makes no sense. They wouldn't do that because that's not even supposed to come out till like April, so you know, whatever." But it's just, again, I like the suits. It's just the helmet that really is messing with me. And that's all I really want to come out here and talk about, for real. Um, other than that, you got the, you know, you got the cat, the staff and whatnot, our initial staff. You got, you know, uh, Takahiro Okawa, Keisuke Shibataka, uh, Rajin. Kuji and Kochi, yeah, Kochi Yada as the producers. I don't know even any of these people. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, it's just names. Uh, then for screenplay we got Atsuhiro Tomo. Oh, no, it's Tomi. Whoa, I should have thought about it before I came on here, but <laughs> Tomioka, Tomioka. I'm assuming it's Tomioka. Uh, I'm personally not familiar with him. Uh, a lot of y'all seem to know him from like Dragon Ball and stuff, and that's cool. Me personally, someone who does, who's, I'm gonna miss something here. I've never really watched Dragon Ball, so I can't really what? relate and be like, oh yeah, that's cool. But you know, it's cool. You got, you got something from Dragon Ball here, but also I hear a lot of y'all talking about, dang, he, we did not like him in Dragon Ball. So we gonna see how that goes. But like I said, he's good with like story progression. It's just when he has a large cast of characters that he seems to falter and whatnot. But we'll see what happens. Uh, Shojiro Nakazawa is the director. I know he worked like on Tokuger and some other stuff. Let me just look right quick. What else has he worked on? He worked on, the, he was the Ninja's main director. Uh, Juoger, Lupat, Summary Soldier. I, I'm assuming all of Zenkaiju. I don't know. There's that. And then the most important one, <laughs> Jun Watanabe as our action director. And I already know some of us, you know, we we, we had a little of a uh, a faint because we were all like, dang, King Ojo's action scenes really don't be hitting like they supposed to. So we're like, okay, cool. Next action director we get, we about to be eating for real. We about to be out here. They about to be outside. Hopefully not in front of a green screen. And then we saw Jun Watanabe and some of y'all were like, damn, we're stuck with this damn inside shots, ain't we? Hopefully, <laughs> this series does a little better action-wise because... King of Drain, you know, it don't it don't hit the same. It just don't hit the same. And then we got Hiroshi Mutsuda. Mutsuda as the uh, FSX. Yeah, kind of the special effects person. I'm just saying special effects person, keep it moving. And I'm not really I'm not really familiar with most of these people. I won't lie. It's the only one I'm familiar with, and that's only because his role has become kind of a source of um issues with King Ojo. Not that King Ojo doesn't have other issues as well. But I'm gonna just keep my thoughts at that right now. Uh, I know this is very scattered. 
and I honestly was not sure what to say when I came on here, but that's basically it. You know, King Old King Oger Boom Oger <laughs> is starting uh March 3rd, 2024. Cool, you know, like we got a lot of more stuff we gotta see and get a good look at from now until then. We got, of course, the other members of the team. Oh, speaking of which, actually, I do got one more thing. And then we got the, you know, we got brief little character descriptions of each Boom Boonger. And they're honestly the most basic character descriptions I think I've ever seen. Red's the passionate leader who leads the team faster. Some stuff. He, he, he's, he's the leader, the passionate leader. Jeez. Blue's the smart one who has a secret wild side, I guess. And then Pink's the, Pink's the, uh, <laughs> the curious and innocent one, you know? But again, all that sounds basic, but I'd imagine that's just because this is, you know, it's not our actual characters yet. It's more like, oh, here's these characters. Here's just basic qualities. So they're probably going to get more complicated later on, which is fine with me. But yeah, right now they, they just basic. They sound basic. Uh, going into this, man, I, I'm not sure what to expect with Boom Moon. To be honest, like it, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a, a jokey type series and truth be told while I liked Zenkai and Dog Brothers for what they were I'm really hoping Boom Ranger isn't like those series because there was definitely a point in both of them where I was just like damn I'm about to, I'm about to clock out of this series because damn I don't I don't feel like doing this so hopefully if it is a more silly series I'm thinking hoping more Kira Major than Zenkai or Dawn Brothers Kira Major was silly but like it had its moments where it was like, oh, this this thing's serious. That's it for real for me. I just want to come on here and talk when I need to talk about Bumunja right quick. I was going to talk about the other thing that just got revealed recently, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow since Toei's going to officially reveal that in like a couple hours. So that is what it is. But yeah, that's it, man. Hopefully this won't take me forever to edit. And uh, yeah, I'm cautiously, <laughs> cautiously optimistic. And, you know, I, I can't really say I'm necessarily loving everything I see, but I don't dislike it. So, if you like this video for whatever reason, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Uh, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, or whenever I get that next video done. Bye.